Hello, it's good to see you. Today we're going to take a look at a whole bunch of stuff. I went to Goodwill today and um, I ended up being in there quite a bit longer than I had originally planned to be in there. And um, my kids were with me and with the three of us all looking, we found some really neat stuff. So, um, and most of it's mine <laughs> that I found. So we're going to take a look at all the neat things that I found at Goodwill today. Um, the first thing belongs to my older son and I told him I would be careful with it. <laughs> Let me see if I can hold this up for you to see. Now, it's kind of heavy. This is from Halo Reach, which it actually says there on the front. These are characters from the game Halo Reach. We have one, two, three, four, five characters. And you can see there's a remarkable amount of detail in their um, costumes or uniforms or whatever you call it. And they're all standing on this big rock here and they have weapons. And it's, it's really cool. We got this for only $5, which I thought was a pretty good deal. And then on the back it says uh, Noble down here. And the entire thing is, is hollow plastic, but is still quite heavy. I'd say it weighs at least two pounds, so it's, it's pretty, pretty heavy. So this was the first thing that we found. I was very careful with it. The second thing I found was this cool pair of boots. And they're brand new too. Look at this. They're made of this remarkable <laughs> blue shag. It's kind of like shag carpeting from back in the 70s. Or, you know, maybe somebody killed an abominable snowman or something. But you can see it kind of sticks up like that. It sticks up a good inch and a half away from the boot. And they are brand new. They were made by Kamik. Kamik? I don't know how you say it. K A M I K. And they have this little drawstring right here where you can adjust the top part and make them fit a little more snugly if you want to. You can use this part here to cinch them up. <clears throat> and they are brand new. And they have a very nice, looks like a very nice, um, durable rubber sole with some, they almost look like, look like little suction cups on the bottom. <laughs> like if you want to walk up a wall like Spider-Man or something, they might not be quite strong enough for that. But they look like they'll be very warm <laughs> and snug. And they're a really pretty light blue color. You can kind of see that under here. And they have a sort of matching stitching that is also a light blue. So I was really happy to find those. They're just, they're adorable. <laughs> I have everything here beside me and I'm going to have to have room for it as I take it out. I found so many things. <clears throat> Sometimes when I go, I don't really find much that's good. And other times I find lots of stuff. And this was a time when I found lots of stuff. All right, <clears throat> the next thing we have is this item. Now this comes from Mega Blocks, and from looking at it online, it looks like it was released in about 2007, and it is uh, Neo Blocks, Mega Blocks Neo Shifters, and it has all the pieces in here. I'm not going to turn it around a lot because they're very noisy pieces. It's kind of like, um, I want to say it's kind of like uh, Connects. Or possibly Legos, where you take the, the individual components and you make this. Or it could be like Bionicle or something like that. But it gives you um, a little bit more detail on the back. Uh, it's a Hydro Wave Shifter. Whatever that is. I don't know. I didn't pick it out. It comes in this really spiffy box pretty blue color and this top part is plastic and I was trying to see how you open it I think you actually open it from here 
Like you push this in and then you flip the top open. So these are Mega Bloks Neo Shifters. And this is something I found. It's actually quite heavy. <laughs> Look at these pretty ornaments. Now, we are going to examine these in much more detail in a later video. In fact, that's why I bought this. There are metal ornaments in here. There's some glass ones in here and some that are made of plastic. I was really intrigued by this one here that is covered in pearls. So we're going to examine these ornaments later. I got this whole bag for 99 cents. And there are some really nice ones in here. So um, we're going to look at the Christmas ornaments later. Oh, I love this shirt. Let me fix the button so I can show it to you. Look at this pretty little shirt. Now this is for a boy. It's a boy size shirt. I love the colors of this. It's primarily kind of a dark red, but we also have these um, sort of mustard color stripe and white and teal, and then it just repeats all the way down. It almost looks brand new to me. Um, it has no tag. It looks like the tag has been cut out, but um, my younger son loves shirts like this. It is long sleeve. You can see the sleeve comes down and the bottom part is that same uh, yellow that you find in the stripe. And it's sort of a polo style shirt. Um, and it has two buttons. It has one here and one here. I don't know exactly what size it is, so I had to kind of eyeball it to see if it would fit him. And I'm pretty sure it will. So it's, it's very soft. But I, I would say if it's not brand new, it was worn maybe once or twice. Um, not bad for $1.79. So there's that. And these I got for my older son, but they're actually too short. <laughs> um, I thought they would fit him, but they're too short. These are nice. These are some, and it's, it's hard to show you big uh, things like jeans. It's hard to hold them up where you can see them, but I'll try. These are American Eagle jeans. And they're they're pretty long. They're they're 30 they have 32 inch inseam, but they're they must have they must have shrunk um, because they were a bit too short for them. But it has the nice little tag on the back, you see. And these were American Eagle original straight jeans. And they're in great shape, but um, since they don't fit him, I'll probably just probably just put them on eBay. So. And this we're gonna read later. I have not read this yet. I found this little book. It's called A Silly Snowy Day. And it's about a tortoise named Shelly, according to this back part here. I haven't read it yet. But you can see the little tortoise right here, covered in snow, with the little hat on. Clever name. It's by Michael Coleman. So we're going to enjoy this book later. It looks like a lot of fun. It has funny, funny little pictures in it. So I'm enjoy I'm gonna look forward to reading that. Now I found two of these. Uh, I think I've mentioned before, but it's been a while since I did a Goodwill haul, mainly because um, I'm trying not to buy as much stuff, and really lately I haven't found all that much good stuff there, so I haven't bought a lot. But if you sell things on eBay and are trying to look for things to sell. One thing that I found that sells pretty well are vintage Aladdin mugs. And I can spot one from a mile away. I've learned to look for these. And the bigger ones sell pretty well. But the smaller ones, even the little, the small ones sell even better sometimes. Like if you find some of the smaller ones, the little, um, I think they're like a 12 ounce coffee mug with the lid. Some of those things go for $20 or $30 a piece. 
is crazy but I found this one mm. and it has camouflage on it and it has A-A-F-E-S at the bottom I don't know what that stands for but um <clears throat> It will have, it does have the original lid with it, which is good. And it always has, I don't know if you can see it, but Aladdin is printed there on the top, upon the lid. And it, it's not around here anywhere, but you can also find it on the bottom of the mug as well. Now this is one of the 32 ounce mugs. They also have the little 20 ounce mugs as well. Um... But I did. I lucked out. I found two. <laughs> Which is pretty rare. You don't normally find two at once. Usually, in my experience, you find just one. And that's it. These are the first Aladdin mugs I've seen in months. I haven't seen even one in a long time. So to find two at once was pretty cool. Now, they're not, they're not in perfect condition. And, of course, when I list them on eBay, I will mention that. One thing that I noticed right away is that the camouflage paint on the mug is scratched in some places. And the mug itself looks, uh, the lid looks like it's been damaged a bit. Like maybe a dog bit it or it was dropped and stepped on or something happened. You can see here where the plastic has been uh, damaged in a way. And... Well, the other lid actually isn't as bad, although it does have a lighter spot right there. And in these larger mugs like this, have a hole in the top for a straw, so you can stick a straw down in there. And an opening there where you can drink it through there, if you want to. So I've never seen any quite like this. I'll probably sell them separately. Oh, and you can see a long scratch in the camouflage paint right there. But, of course, um, when you list anything like that, you want to make sure you have good pictures of any flaws so the person buying the item will know about it. And then they can decide if they still want it or not. So that was, that was a really neat find for me today to find not one, but two Aladdin mugs. So that was pretty exciting. And this I love this bag. I actually spotted this bag while I was waiting in line. We had to wait quite a while to check out. It just um, seemed like when we were there, there was just a constant line at the front to check out. And it never really got any better, so we just went ahead and got in it and just had to wait. We waited quite a while to check out. But while we were waiting, um, near the front of the store, they have all these um, end end caps on the ends of their aisles and they'll put things there like purses and bags and things that's where I saw this bag first you can see that it's woven but check out this beautiful butterfly on here isn't that gorgeous look at that that is made of scraps of fabric all different colors and in the middle we have these shiny pieces They're, they feel like glass little glass pieces and it's kind of hard to see I guess but they're a little little shiny I just thought that was the prettiest little thing and the antenna here is made of glass seed beads and at the top in this little section here you have rhinestones so that was really cool and I got this video I got this bag to make a video so we can um in the video, we could spend part of our time examining the bag, particularly the butterfly. And then the rest of the video, we'll just um, enjoy the sound of the bag itself. Like the scratchy sound. It is a nice bag though. And it has good long handles attached with these little wooden pieces here to these fabric loops. It was made by Blue Miami, and it zips across at the top. <clears throat> so that we will see later. Oh, this is a nice shirt too. This is a polo, a, a real polo, like Ralph Lauren polo shirt. 
look at these cool colors. I tell you, if I could find a shirt like this for me, I would probably wear it. It's just such a unique combination of colors. You have orange stripes, green, and navy blue. And it just repeats all the way down. And a really nice green collar. And this is another shirt that I, I swear, I don't think it's been worn much at all. And this is a short sleeve shirt. And again, I got it for my younger son because he really, he really likes shirts like this. And that would just fit him, so that's good. Of course, all this stuff's going to get washed before it goes anywhere, but I wanted to show you while I still had it all kind of grouped together. Oh my goodness. This shirt. I spent a lot of time over in the ladies' long sleeve shirts today. I don't normally spend that much time over there looking at them, but I did today. Look at this. Now this is not for me in real life. I would never wear this. It's made of nylon or something. No, I'm sorry, polyester. Um, this is not me at all. I would never wear this. Um, it's made by Ab Abvian. And it is a polyester button-down, slightly poofy shouldered sleeved shirt. This is for our gossipy lady. Um, I, sometimes I try to find tops for her, you know, that she would wear, and it's not really stuff I would wear. So this is for our gossipy lady. It is kind of interesting. I want to show you one thing about this shirt that's kind of different. We have down here almost like a pea coat. We have two rows of buttons on this shirt. Um, and they're not buttoned up, but you can see where you have these two, like, two columns <laughs> of buttonholes. I've never seen anything like that on a, on a blouse. Um, but it is. It's like I have a pea coat that's made that way. It's really interesting. Um, so yeah, this will be for her. One good thing about it is I can wad it up in a ball and throw it in the closet somewhere and it will come out looking exactly like this. It won't be wrinkled or anything. <laughs> so that's for the librarian. I mean, not the librarian, the gossipy lady. Well, the librarian could wear it too. Um, oh, this is so pretty. I like this. Look at this. This is actually a scarf and I love love the colors of this. It's an infinity scarf, but it's really big. Like, it's gigantic. But look, we have, we have this metallic thread in here. It's, it's almost, um, a copper color. I might say though, it's more of a rose gold color. It's semi-transparent. It's not a super thick scarf, which I like because, um, if I wear these at work, I have some that are thicker and they're too hot to wear inside. So I think this one would actually be okay. But we also have gray in here and sort of an ivory color. So it's a really interesting combination of colors. I really like it. And it's so soft. And all their scarves are $1.50 a piece. So it's a really good deal for $1.50. Um, I told you I spent a lot of time over in the ladies' long sleeve shirts. I have several here. <laughs> I want to show you. This is for me. Just this. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is actually a dress, but I did find it in, stuck in with the ladies' long sleeve shirts for some reason. Um, this is for me. I love this. Now this is a dress. I want to show you. I want to show it to you up close first, so you can see the pattern of the colors in this fabric. I love these colors. We have a dark blue and then sort of a periwinkle blue. Um, almost like a lime green and white. But I love the design. I love the, I love this color. All these different colors together. This dress comes, uh, I would say just below the knee. It was made by London Times, and it has this interesting 
little metal piece here in the front and it's actually pretty substantial <laughs> but it, it just comes like right here and it has three, oh well, not even three quarter sleeves, but they're longer than regular short sleeves. I would say they probably come to like here, but not down, you know, not like that. But I just thought this was so pretty. And it does come just below the knee. It's not lined, but that's okay. So I'm looking forward to wearing that. Oh god, this is for Lynette. I, this isn't really... I mean, it's, it's cool, but it's not really me. It's nice. I'm not knocking it at all. It's, um, it's a, a really neat little scene, and it actually goes all the way around the shirt. And it's even over here on the sleeves. And it's just a knit shirt. Now, this does have three-quarter sleeves. It was made by Jane Ashley, um, and it's 100% cotton, but I don't know, I just thought this kind of looked like something Lynette would wear. kind of has a scoop, a little bit of a scoop neck, not much, but if you look at it up close, uh, it's kind of hard, but you can see that it's actually, it has these little beads and sequins attached. They're sewn on across here. Um, then they sort of outline the building, which is kind of interesting. And then they have some green sequins down here in the grass, too. So, I don't know. I just, I saw it and I instantly thought of Lynette and I thought, I don't know. I just, I think I can see her wearing that. And then I found this to kind of go with it because I imagine when I see her wearing this, I kind of imagined her wearing something over it, um, at least initially, and then she might take it off at some point and just have that top on. And then I stumbled across this uh, cardigan, which again, I think it is adorable, but it, it's not really me. Um, it has all kinds of things from Paris. Look, we have the Eiffel Tower, and these are all embroidered on here. All these little details, there's a little poodle. <laughs> All these little details on here are embroidered onto the cardigan. See? And look, I mean, they're just, they're all over the place down here. And the buttons are really cute. These buttons are fabric covered and they also have glass beads attached and a rhinestone right in the very center of the button. We have one two, three, four, five, six, seven of these buttons going down the front. And then on the back, there's a little bit more detail right there. And it has three quarter inch, th three quarter sleeves that are kind of flared. And there's a black velvet trim just there. And it's really cute down here at the bottom on this sweater. The bottom of this cardigan is flared also, and it has this cute little detail. And it has this black velvet all the way across, and it goes all the way around the back. It is just adorable. It is the most adorable little cardigan. So, um, I imagine, I don't know, I just imagine Lynette having on that top, and then having this on over it. So, maybe she will wear that sometime in the near future if I don't misplace it, which has happened. Sometimes I put things where I won't forget them and then I never see them again because I forgot where I put them. <laughs> I'm fixing the buckle on a shoe that I want to show you. I found the most adorable heels, little wedge sandals, but I forgot to fasten the buckle. Look at this. Is that not the cutest little shoe? <laughs> I love the, the little polka dots on here. And they do have kind of a cork look, but it's only down here at the bottom. Most of the wedge itself has that same fabric, that black and white little polka dotted look. And they're, they're not heavy at all. They were made by Kelly and Katie. 
and they do have a nice uh, rubber sole, which I like. Some of them have almost like a, um, almost like a velvet. It's like a fabric covered sole and they can be a little slippery on some floors. Um, so I actually prefer the rubber sole. And they have this cute little knot here at the top of the, the foot. So, and they have a little bit of a platform so they're actually not as high as they may look. And I love this cute little ankle strap too. So this was, um, and these were $3.99. And they don't look like they've been worn much at all. I mean, they're, you know, they're really good looking shoes. These are for me. <laughs> because heaven knows I don't have enough shoes yet. I have way too many shoes. But it's kind of hard to turn them down for $3.99. I just, I thought they were really cool. I won't wear them until warmer weather, but I look forward to wearing them this spring and summer. Let's see. Now we're going to look at a few items that I bought to sell on eBay. I haven't done much eBay stuff lately, um, but every now and then I come across things and decide that I'll do it. Because um, raising two kids is not cheap. <laughs> um, sometimes I do buy things to sell. I've been doing it for uh, 19 years now, off and on first thing I found was, uh, and these are mostly men's jeans that I found. These are men's Tommy Bahama jeans, which I didn't even know Tommy Bahama made jeans till today. But they're not anything super fancy. They are Tommy Bahama Easy Fit jeans. It has the little tag, the little metal, the leather piece on the back like a lot of jeans do. And they're nice. But yeah, I didn't know Tommy Mama made jeans, so that was that was interesting. And these, I love, I love Lucky Brand jeans. I have several pairs myself, and I love the way they fit, and they're really well made, and they're just great. And they also sell well. <laughs> I found these. These are men's Lucky jeans. They're nice and long. These are Buttonfly, which I haven't found many Lucky brand Buttonfly jeans. They're size 34, but they're really nice. Kind of hard to show you the whole thing, but I'm telling you, if they were smaller, I'd keep them for myself. <laughs> they're so soft. I, that's one thing I like about my Lucky jeans is just... The way they're made, they're just such a soft denim, and it's so comfortable. I love them. Oh. I am going to a hippie festival. It's not now, it's later. I'm going to go to a hippie festival. I'm, so, I'm already looking forward to it. I got to get my tickets. Um, and I was actually kind of thinking about wearing this to the hippie festival. Look at this top. It's like a peasant blouse. Uh, I'd have to wear something under it because it's pretty see-through, but isn't this pretty? Look at the colors of this blouse. It has kind of a floral look to it in the center there. You can see it almost looks like a big rose right there. I love all the colors in here. This blue is just so beautiful. And then in the front, we have some beads sewn just across here, right across this front part. And then a little tie right there. And then down at the bottom, it is elastic. It has some elastic gathering down here at the waist. I thought that would look so cute with the, like a long flowing skirt. So I may wear that. I'm not sure. I kind of actually think I might have Harvest wear it for something. I don't know, but I thought that was really pretty. Oh, and um, one good thing about going to this Goodwill on Saturdays is that um, usually after about lunchtime, which was when we got there, they start to bring out lots and lots of racks of new stuff that they've just got, you know, they've just prepared to put out. And you can find that you never know what's going to be on those racks. It could be anything. Um, and two things I found, 
and I may keep these for myself. I haven't decided yet. I got this pair of ladies uh, Under Armour capri pants, like uh, workout pants, and I wear these all the time. I have I have several pairs of these that I wear to the gym, um, and I may keep these for myself. These are nice. Um, you can see they have kind of a wide waistband up here at the top, and they have fuchsia and blue, which is kind of cool. I like that different colored band at the top but these are really nice and right beside those I found these and this is also um, a pair of Under Armour Capri pants made a little bit differently these are made more out of uh, spandex the other pair was like a cotton spandex blend this pair is made a little bit differently so you can see it has these colors down here yeah, I may, I don't know. I may see how they fit, and if I like them, I may keep these for myself. But if I decide not to, I'll put them on eBay. But those were $3.79 a pair. I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, and these are for my younger son. He um is outgrowing his clothes. I can't keep up with them. They Every time I turn around, they're outgrowing their clothes. It's... It's maddening how quickly they outgrow their stuff. It's just a pair of khaki pants. That's in, you know, they're nothing special, um, but they, they should fit him. He's kind of in between sizes right now. He wears a lot of tins, but a lot of the tins are getting where they're too short. So, But he's still not quite ready for a 12. It's like the 12s are way too big, so I just have to keep buying pants. But these are really nice. These are um, boys JK, uh, J khakis. They're size 10. I think they'll fit though. They're pretty long. But uh, they're very nice. And these were only, I think these were only $1.79. So if he outgrows them very quickly, I'm not, I'm, it's not going to break my heart or anything. Well, these I got for me, but I didn't try them on yet. <laughs> I figure if they don't fit, I'll put them on eBay too. These are cool. I was looking for another pair of dark blue skinny jeans that I can wear to work. We can wear jeans on Friday as long as they're a dark colored denim, like dark blue. You can't wear light blue or faded. They have to be dark. So I found these. These are Ann Taylor Loft Modern Skinny Jeans. I didn't try them on. I was, um, it was about time to go and I was kind of hurrying and, um, but I, they have a lot of, quite a bit of stretch to them. There's quite a bit of spandex in there, I think. So, um, I think they'll fit fine. I think they're okay. But those are nice and dark and so I can wear these to work and they are nice and professional looking. So, um, a lot of times I wear these in the winter time and I will wear a pair of boots with them. So the skinny jeans work great for that because they fit right down into the boot. So hopefully these will fit. If they don't, then I will just put them on eBay. Oh, this I got for me. Look, I love this color. I do. I really love this color. This is sort of like, um... A jacket. It doesn't have any buttons or snaps, but I love this material. See, it looks all wrinkly and I don't know what you call that, but it's lined. It has this nice lining that matches. It's the same color, but it's made out of a slightly different fabric. It is from Peck and Peck Collection. And it has a little bit of an elastic gathering right there at the very back. And it has it has long sleeves that are kind of flared here at the bottom. So I thought that was kind of interesting. But um, I love this because I had a sweater that was almost exactly the same color. And I washed it before I realized um, it could not be washed. It had to be dry cleaned and it just shrank 
to the point where it would almost fit a Barbie doll and it wouldn't fit me anymore. It was way too small and the sleeves came up to here and so I had to get rid of it unfortunately. So I'm really happy to find something else that's the same color because uh, I just love this color. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. You know, you could wear it with like um, just about anything under it. I was thinking maybe like a black tank top or something like that. And then I have a necklace that would match that perfectly, so I'm going to try that out. And this is mine, too. <laughs> this pretty little sweater is also mine. And this color is really cool. It has a V-neck. And it's from Laura Scott. But the fabric is it's um, kind of like chenille, almost. I mean, not chenille, chamois. Or, not chamois. I think I did mean chenille, but it's really, really soft. It's late, <laughs> but it also has little flecks of like a lime green color in there. It's not totally blue. Uh, it's very subtle, so I like that. Um, it's made of mostly acrylic. It's 80% acrylic and 20% uh, polyester, but it's nice and long. It's hard to show it to you because <laughs> it's kind of big but it's not super thick but it feels like it would still be warm and it's very soft and here you can see the what the sleeve looks like it's almost it's like it's rolled a little bit right there on the edge so that was also for me because apparently in my mind I don't have enough clothes oh now this was just this shirt was really unique. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> now, <laughs> the shirt is primarily purple and gray and black, but right in the middle of this top, you have this elaborate, and, and I, I don't know if it came this way or if the person who bought it did this after the fact. I can't imagine that they would. It must have come this way, but right in the middle, you have all these beads and sequins that are sewn onto this top. I mean, it's, it's very elaborate and very colorful. And right in the middle, you have this gigantic rhinestone. So it's, I mean, it's blue and pink and green. It doesn't really match the rest of the top. It's, it's really weird, <laughs> but I love it. I love it so much. Um, but I was thinking I could wear this with a black tank top under it because it's, I mean, it's pretty sheer, you know, you can, you can see through it. But it has long sleeves and I just thought that was a really unique, it's just a really unique top. It was made by AZI, AZI Jeans. I have no idea who that is. But on the back, you can see the pattern of the top itself. And I really like that color purple. Very pretty. So that's mine, too. Um, and these, let me see. I got these possibly for me, but if they don't fit, I can sell them. It's another pair of skinny jeans. Um, they're a light they're a fade. I couldn't wear them to work. And I don't care if they're men's. I wear them anyway. I have actually quite a few pairs of men's jeans that I wear a lot. See, they're not, they're skinny down here at the bottom. And they have this faded, worn look about them. These are American Eagle, uh, just skinny jeans. That's all it says. Just skinny. <laughs> so... They're very nice, and they're very soft, too. They feel like they're all broken in and ready to go. And my pile of clothes is going to fall over. <laughs> it's going to be like a tidal wave of clothing, and it's going to take out the Halo Reach guys. And they start shooting at it. These I bought for eBay, and these are big. These always sell. These are Gap, uh, Men's Gap 1969 jeans, and they are standard. They have different 
fits. This is the standard. And they're really, really nice. They're made of really good quality heavy duty denim. Nice and dark. And then the, the Gap 1969 jeans have this little rectangular patch right here on the back. And it just says 1969. And that's all it says. There's nothing else on it. The rest of it's blank. So these always sell. I mean, anymore. Um, I really only buy things that I know I'm going to be able to sell without a lot of trouble. And the Gap, the Men's Gap 1969 jeans are always, I always sell those. I never have a problem with those. And the last few things I have here are for my younger son. They had just brought out this big rack of um, stuff from the back. And most of the rack was just boys clothes, like pants, like jeans, shorts, t-shirts, all about the same size. And I found three t-shirts for my son. He loves Minecraft. Now this shirt is a little bit big for him now, but I think maybe by this summer it will fit him. It's just a cute little Minecraft shirt, which is one of his favorite video games. So he'll like that shirt. And what's this one? Oh yeah, he loves this movie. He loves all the Lego movies. Everything is awesome. So he's going to like that. The neck is kind of stretched out, but that's okay. All these shirts were 99 cents a piece, so I don't care. So he likes the Lego movie, so he'll like that. I don't think he's actually seen these. Um, and he likes Star Wars, so he's going to like this shirt. I'm all about the dark side. <laughs> Yes, this shirt is gray. It's like a dark gray color. And it was made by Savvy. But I thought he would like that. So that, I believe, is everything I got. So we did really well finding all these wonderful things. I, got some, I have some things here for videos. We have a book. Um, we have a bag to scratch. We have ornaments to look at. Uh, clothes for characters to wear. So we're, you know, we're pretty well set up with things for future videos. So that's good. I found some clothing items for my kids and me, which is good. Um, and so, I mean, I think we did pretty well with our little trip to Goodwill today. So I want to thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again really soon.